Hey guys, Mr. McSweeney here, and today we're going to talk about stem changing verbs, which are slightly complicated, but we've actually already done some, I just haven't told you what they are. So, in a verb, you have two parts. You have the ending, the A-R-E-R-I-R, -E and then you have the stem, which is also sometimes called the root. So, with a stem change verb, that just means the beginning is going to, is going to also change. So the root or the stem will change, as well as the ending when you conjugate it. Now, I, sound, I know that sounds confusing, but we've actually been doing it. So for instance, you have three different stem changes. You have an E to IE, an O to UE, and a U to UE. Now those are the most common, so we're going to focus on those three. So an example of the E to IE would be the verb querer. We just learned this verb. And when you conjugate it, you change the end, right? So the ER changes to your ER endings. But then in the beginning, you'll notice that that E turned into an IE. So for example, yo quiero, and that E turns into an IE, and we also add the O. So we've been doing these, you also see that one in tener, to tienes, the E turns into an IE. So this change happens in all of the subjects except for the nosotros and the vosotros. An example of the O to Yuki would be the verb dormir, which means to sleep. So you won't say yo dormo because it's a stem change. So that first O is also going to change. So yo duermo. Another example for a U to UE verb is jugar. And jugar means to play. So if you're playing a sport. So if you want to say, they play, you don't say, ellos jugan, because it's got a stem change. So that U turns into a UE, and it's going to be ellos juegan. Practice this a lot, and if you need any help, refer back to this video in your notes. Good luck.